I look through my window. Sam stares through the other side. We've drawn back the standard issue hospital curtains with blue triangles. So many triangles that I've given up counting. They're pulled back, and so that all that is between us is the window. We both stare, looking through glass that separates our bodies and our breath. I put my hand up to the glass. Sam does the same. We're touching, almost touching. We move our hands together, mirror one another's movements. We're as close as we will ever physically be again. I don't have a plan, but I've got goals. I've got things I'm working on, working for, working towards. I've got those wild trains of thoughts that derail in my sleepy brain before I go to sleep that turn into detailed dream landscapes of my future. I see nightclubs and drag, I see programs with my name in it, I see a flat, I see my friends, I see dinner with my mum, I see colour, glitter and love, I see me working with children, helping them create something they can be proud of, I see me as a primary teacher, totally fabulous and completely educational, I only see me doing this part time, I don't want to be that horrible full time teacher, I see colour, I see glitter, I see happiness, I see love, I see what I want to see, because that's what I deserve. Welcome to another episode of Waffle TV. I'm Sean McDonald. Across from me, I've got Heather, and we're here to talk about a very powerful physical theater piece for cystic fibrosis. Do you want to tell us more? Hey, I'm Alive explores the impact that cystic fibrosis has on a young person, their friends and family. Um, people with CF aren't allowed to meet one another. They're not allowed mm -hmm. to be in contact because the risk of infection is so high. So the only time they'll ever meet one another is online. So we've chosen to highlight that isolation by putting our performers inside Zorbs. Um, we not only explore the isolation, but how somebody with CF then carries on relationships throughout the rest of their life. So is it responsible when you have a life-shortening condition to have children if you know that you're going to leave them? Is it responsible to have a partner, a long-term partner, if you know that you're not going to be able to live your life fully with them? So it's an interpretation of reality. It Things is. that are actually happening. Absolutely. And we're, so we're working with four performers, one of whom cool. has CF. Um, and we've taken a lot of Jordan's blog and used that to create the dialogue within the piece. To get the material. Yeah, is he, is he in it? He is in it, yeah. But we'll never say which performer mm -hmm. has cystic fibrosis because we, for us, we don't think that's important. That's cool. Yeah. And so why should people see the show? I think people sh should see the show because it's exciting. It's never been done before. We have four performers inside Zorbs. We're on the roof of Dan Space, which is a beautiful setting under the castle. Mm -hmm. You can see right across the city. But also, you're going to see something that you're not going to see anywhere else. And also, you can interact with our performers. You can play with them, or you can sit back and watch the performance. So it's up to you how you view the piece. That's cool. And then when, when can you see it? You can see it at Dan Space, the 17th to 20th of August. It runs 1 till 5 p.m. It's an endurance piece, but you can come and go as you please from the piece. Cool, wicked. You heard it here first. And I've got Nick with me, who is in the orb. Yes. How hot was it in there? Uh, very hot, <laughs> especially <laughs> with all the running about. Yeah, yeah, and that takes a lot of physical endurance. Yeah. Tell us about that. So uh, when we were cast in the performance, uh, our director, Heather, made it very clear that it was going to be very physically demanding. Mm -hmm. So she suggested uh, that, obviously, we, we sort of embark on some sort of uh, stamina training prior to the Lots rehearsal process. Out. Yeah. Running. So run? <laughs> running, everything all about the endurance, yeah, building yeah. up your stamina. Uh, so like, you know, skipping, running, anything mm -hmm. like that. Just something that will get you prepared for the physically demanding nature of the piece. That's cool. So what's going on in your head when you're in this orb? Uh, first of all, it's very, very hot. <laughs> <laughs> Sweat. Uh, no, it's just kind of, again, the piece looks at that sort of isolation that mm -hmm. people with cystic fibrosis can often feel because they can't interact with one another. So you kind of feel very isolated and it's going to be brilliant when there's an audience there trying to interact with you, but there's this layer yeah. stopping you it's, from It's an contact. actual physical bubble compared to the yeah. metaphorical one. Yeah, both. So it's just kind of that really fuels uh, your performance because you feel that sense of isolation and it, it can drive you mad, it can make you sad, you know, it can make you want to give up. Roller coaster so of emotions. Just, yeah, roller coaster of emotions. It just fuels you like the entire way through the piece. That's cool. So why should people see it? They should see it because, again, it's a very unique performance. A four-hour endurance piece. I mean, I know there's a few endurance pieces going on during the Fringe, but mm -hmm. I mean, we're in Zorbs. This is on a rooftop. And it's uh, real life. <laughs> it's real life, yeah. And it deals with a real-life situation and... You know, it is, we hope that it can bring some sort of uh, info to people who don't know much about cystic fibrosis because it is, you know, a very hugely impacting illness on the sufferers. So we just want to raise awareness as well. That's cool. Thank you very much. No worries.
this is Sean McDonald reporting for another episode of Waffle TV, sponsored by Bomers. Make sure to see Hey, I'm Alive. Thank you very much, and see you later. <laughs>